What's up guys, how you doing? Overskilled Gaming here with a new set dungeon video of the Seekers of Light set of the Crusader and as always I will show you all the abilities, all the items you need, where the set dungeon is located and finally some gameplay of mine so you can handle this set dungeon and master it very very easy. So leave me a short like Make yourself a good cup of tea and what can I say? Enjoy your tea, enjoy the video and let's go! To master this set dungeon we have to complete two objectives and we have to kill all the monsters within the set dungeon. Our primary objectives are we have to cast Fallen Sword three times in 15 seconds and we have to do this three times in the rift. And our second primary objective is we cannot get hit by a single mortar. Item wise we have to think about a few things. So first of all you have to wear at least 6 item pieces of the set or 5 set pieces and the ring of the royal grandeur in your cube. The second thing you have, we have to think about is that we need a lot of items with cooldown reduction. So just do it on all the items where you can get it so especially on your gloves or on your shoulders. So when you have that that's usually enough. But what we also need is Cam's Rebutal. So this weapon, uh, the passive is the important part here. So we can cast Falling Sword another time within 4 seconds of the first one. And that is important because we cheese our first primary objective a little bit. So you can cast it, cast it again. Then we wait the cooldown and that should be lowered by our cooldown reduction. And we cast it again. And so the one primary objective really isn't a big deal. Other than that just get yourself a few resistance so you don't die and you are usually good in this set dungeon. We have two very important skills. So the first one is obviously Fallen Sword because we have to cast it three times within 15 seconds and that three times. So we use that with the rune Rapid Descent, you can use like every rune, it's not really important. And the second one is Blessed Hammer with Brute Force. So with Blessed Hammer we just clear all the minions in the rift. We use it in between when we can't do Falling Sword to kill anything. So beside of that you just want a lot of mobility and we do that with Steed Charge, our little horsey and we play the rune Endurance so we can use it even longer and that we are more flexible and mobile. All the other skills like Provoke are just that we can get our primary resource back so that we can cast Blessed Hammer again and again and again to kill all the monsters within the time limit. To find the set dungeon we have to go to Act two actually and we go to the ancient waterway. So if you get there you just go down here to the waterlocked passage and we ride it down till the end and as you can see on the map there is the portal, the set dungeon portal of the seeker of the light set. So when you have prepared everything, all the items, all the abilities, we can finally start into the rift and try to master it. So what you want to do is, you want to play the press the falling sword two times, so we just can wait for the cooldown. In the meantime you kill all the other monsters with blast hammer, so when we go to the next group we can press it and yeah. Always press the Falling Sword onto Elites because that's the easiest way you can avoid the Mortar, a very very easy and effective way. 
and in the meantime when you don't have falling sword active just clear minions with your hammer and you are good we have casted falling sword and we can easily cast it again and we fulfilled our first task very very easy you don't have to do a whole lot for that so and what we now want to do is always when we see an elite guy we just want to have our falling sword ready so we can just click on him and avoid all the mortar and when we are in melee range we are safe from him so that is the easiest tactic to avoid getting hit by mortar and now we just have to clear the rift with the tactic of jumping with fallen sword on elites being mobile with our little horsey as you can see here and all the other minions we just clear with our blessed hammer ability so really straightforward the tactic really not a big deal and yeah let's just clear the rest of the rift press free go in melee range and then clear him with your hammers no problem at all so we did that part and we have 128 minions left so i don't have a cooldown of falling sword so i'm waiting a little bit so i don't fall the other objective kill this guy with the hammer this guy as well this guy and we jump on the next elite guy kill everything around him and yeah, there's an elite guy we go a little bit away and when he's on the edge of our screen we just jump on him and yeah, we just clear him and that's how you do it basically and the rest is just clearing minions and don't get hit by mortar Clear this guy, see if there's anything here in this corner. No. It's right up here. Kill this guy. Let's see. More minions here. Okay, nothing. So the 78 minions that are missing are all in this area. And as you can see, it's really not a big deal to just kill them all with our ability so we are in melee range he can't, can't do shit to us and now we just have 15 left and yeah they are all in this spot I guess and yeah that is basically how you do it as you can see I still had over one minute left so really not a big thing if you just follow my instructions so that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really, really hope it helped you to master the set dungeon. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section. Leave me a like if you feel so. And yeah, that's it for this video. I'm out. See ya.